Hi, I'm Anne and I'm here in the Rockwell Museum. The Rockwell Museum is located on the ancestral land of the Seneca people, one of the many native nations in the Northeast United States. So today, we are going to be talking about westward expansion, and we're going to look at this painting by N.C. Wyeth. The painting is called, If the Woman in the Wagon Was Scared to Death As She Looked at the Prairie, I Surely Had Cause to Be Afraid. But I was not, I was uplifted. This title is very long because this painting was made as an illustration for a book. And so the painting matches up to some text that is in the book. So as we look at this painting, we see some big, beautiful, fluffy clouds in the sky. What else do you see here? Maybe some prairie land or meadow, some tall grasses in the corner. Down here, maybe some cows or some oxen. And it looks like they're pulling a covered wagon with two people in it, a man and a woman, and they both look very different. They have different emotions that are coming from them. The man is looking across the prairie, and he looks kind of thoughtful. We can't see much of his face, but we can sort of tell he's gazing kind of this way, kind of off in the distance, as though he's really thinking about maybe what are his opportunities, how is he going to build his house? How big will his farm be? Some questions that he may have, but he seems a little more thoughtful and maybe even somewhat excited, wondering what is ahead. The woman seems to have a different feeling about her. I look at her eyes and they're very wide. Her eyebrows are kind of pointing up as though she might be a little worried and her mouth is tipped down. She's not smiling or laughing, so she doesn't look happy. And she has a handkerchief that she's clutching near her neck, which makes me think she may have been crying or she may think she's going to cry. So she looks worried. He looks hopeful. They're in a wagon. There are some oxen pulling. And I really think that they are moving west from the east, giving up family, friends, and a home that they knew to go and find a new place. So in the 1840s and 50s, tens of thousands of people from the East moved across the land to the West to settle the area. So that's like filling a sports stadium. It's huge, right? As they moved West, they started to take more and more space, more and more land. Their idea was they were going to move and settle on their own plots of land, but the problem was there were some Native Americans already living in those spaces. They were taking care of the land, they were farming in their own way, and as the pioneers moved, the Native Americans were forced off their land to land that was less fertile, that didn't grow crops as well. The settlers kept the good land. They also farmed like they knew and made grids and rows, which then completely changed the look of the landscape. So as they moved across, they had some things to think about. They knew that there would be Native Americans along the way. They knew that they would be able to maybe get some help as far as hunting and fishing and maybe trade some of their food back and forth with some Native American people. The pioneers would meet together in groups and form what they called wagon trains. There were long trains winding across the landscape from the east to the west of wagon after wagon after wagon. And this would help them because they could help each other if someone broke down or if there was a dangerous situation and just help each other arrive safely. The wagons could carry 2,500 pounds each. Now that sounds like a lot, but it really isn't because they had to take six whole months to go from east to west, six months. That's half a year. So that's the time when you have your last day of school 
You have all your summer vacation, you have your fall, you start school again, and then you move into winter. And at the time you reach your winter holidays, that's a full six months. That's a very long time to be on the road with no stores. You need to take in your wagon some things that are very important. So let's think about if we're going to go on a trip and settle in a new place, 200 years ago, what would you take in your wagon? First of all, I wanna make sure I have enough food. We want maybe flour, sugar, some salt if we can get it, some dried spices, maybe some dried vegetables and fruits. We also want to take coffee and a big barrel. We're going to come across some rivers here and there, but of course not every day will we find a river. So we need to fill our barrels when we can so that we have water every day. Also, we might want to take a milking cow with us so that we can have fresh milk. And we could even churn our milk into butter. We need a butter churn for that though, so let's don't forget our butter churn. Now our wagon's getting kind of full and we might want to think about maybe some tools, something to cook our food in, so maybe some pots and pans, tools like a hammer. Also, one more thing, we need hardtack. We're gonna make some hardtack to take with us. So the hardtack is made with flour, water, and sometimes salt. It's baked into like a cracker and it lasts a long time. It's easy to store. It's very flat and it's light so it can carry well in a wagon and it would last you the whole trip. It will not spoil. We also need to take some clothes. Someone in the family would have a sewing kit because if our clothes ripped or if we needed to adjust them, we need somebody to help us do that. So a sewing kit and a few clothes per person. So our wagon is really pretty full. There's not a lot more room, but if we're moving, across the whole country, we wanna take something that's special to us. We wanna take something that is important to us that we love, whether it's a special toy, a special quilt or a book, something that we really love. We have to think about the weight and the size of it. Can you take your grandfather clock that your grandfather made for you? Probably not. It's too heavy and it's way too long. We need to take smaller, lighter things. So maybe you could take your favorite quilt or a favorite toy. If you were gonna make the choice to move from east to west, would you do that? Thinking about all of the things that we talked about today, I wanna thank you so much for coming here today to enjoy this painting by N.C. Wyeth called If the Woman in the Wagon Was Scared to Death at the sight of the prairie, I surely had cause to be afraid, but I was not. I was uplifted. And I hope that you can come and see it in person and see all of our beautiful artwork in the collection. But if you can't, then please go on our website to rockwellmuseum.org and check out our museum online. Enjoy the artwork and thank you.